let's talk about stream evolution. The first type of stream is a young stream. Young streams are formed in steep valleys and mountains. They usually have water that flows very quickly and have high energy potential. These streams also tend to erode in the bottom of the river rather than the sides like mature or old streams. Usually young streams will be found in V-shaped valleys. They also tend to have whitewater rapids and waterfalls due to their steep slopes and fast moving water. Now young streams, as you can see here, have a V-shaped cross section. The streams do not have a wide flat floodplain. They have a single stream channel. In this upper image, you can also see whitewater rapids are present in this young stream. This is a V-shaped valley and there is no floodplain present. Mature streams have less energy than young streams. They are usually in flatter slopes and the water flows a little bit slower, meaning it has less energy. There is almost no rapids or waterfalls left in mature streams. And they also have a floodplain, albeit a smaller floodplain than old streams. Usually flanking both sides of a mature stream is a type of hill or at least a steeper slope. So in this case, you can see a mature stream has a wider valley than the previous young stream. They may also have oxbow lakes, and they will definitely have a floodplain. But on the sides of the floodplain, it is flanked by steeper sides that constrain the river to a particular area. Now for mature streams, they no longer erode down. They now erode side to side, widening their floodplain as they erode. Old streams have a much wider, broader floodplain. They also have the lowest energy and lowest speed of any of the river types. They erode from side to side, just like uh, mature streams, and they also have many more meanders in a mature stream. Old streams usually have very large, flat floodplains. Now to get a picture of what each looks like, let's take a look at each one of these three here. So a young stream might be like this Virgin River at Zion National Park. You can see the river is in the middle of a valley. It doesn't really have much of a floodplain. Even though this one doesn't have a whitewater rapid, it is still considered young. Now, a mature stream might be the Virgin River taken from this Google satellite image. In this Virgin River, you can see it's constrained between both sides by this hilly area to the left and to the right. In the middle, it has a floodplain, which it meanders in between both sides. Now, a old stream might be this image right here. You can see the entire image is a flat floodplain. The stream meanders whichever direction it wants to, and there is no sides constraining this floodplain. It is very, very wide. Now, oxbow lakes can also form from meanders. As the outside edge of a river erodes because the outside edge is moving the fastest, sometimes those outside edges meet. So for example, this edge and this edge right here grow and grow and eventually they touch. When they touch, now the river can more easily flow directly from here to this bottom side and it completely cuts off that left meander. That left meander can then form an oxbow lake. Now, one thing about rivers and deposition is the faster a river moves, the more it can carry and the bigger sediment can carry. But the opposite is also true. When a stream loses energy as it goes from young to mature to old, it can no longer carry heavier sediments like boulders, cobbles, and pebbles. And they will be deposited along the riverbanks, usually on the inside of a meander. Now, all streams are moved fast enough to carry silt and clay. So silt and clay will almost never be deposited along a river but sand and pebbles are more likely deposited near young and mature streams than you will ever see them on old streams. Old streams will almost certainly carry silt and clay and maybe some sand as well. But young streams are the ones where you're gonna get boulders and cobbles. As it loses energy, as it moves farther downhill and loses slope, you will see bigger particles being deposited. Now, Rivers aren't the only thing that deposits, so can alluvial fans. So in dry regions and deserts, when water and flash floods happen, the higher sloped areas can pick up larger sediments like sand, boulders, and cobbles, and they get washed down into the valley. But what happens when they get washed into the valley, they lose energy because they're no longer a steep slope, and so they get deposited. Now alluvial fans can be built up over many periods of floods, and over time, they'll have a trend where the area nearest the mountains contains more pebbles and boulders, and the areas farthest away from the mountains, like over by Pahrump over here, contains more silts and clays. 
that's where you end up with dry lake beds and evaporates as well. So alluvial fans is deposition without rivers. Now deltas are deposition with rivers. So excluding the river bars and river banks inside of a river, river where sediment is deposited, the ultimate fate of a river, most rivers, is to be deposited into a lake or an ocean. So in this case, this is a delta into an ocean, just like the Mississippi River Delta right here. And all the sediment that the river carries along the way is dumped out into the ocean. Now, some of it gets washed away. Some of it stays in that area and gets deposited on the ground to form new land. So all of the land in this image right here is actually from the Mississippi River depositing land into the ocean. This is all a delta. And over time, the delta will grow from all the sediment a river carries. Now, the New Orleans Delta, the Mississippi River Delta, has been growing for hundreds and thousands of years, for at least the past 6,000 years to be sure. And it does not all form in one area. The river moves from area to area to area. So in the past, it was on the left. Over here in the middle, it's formed on the right. And present, it's in this bottom right-hand section here. Whenever the Mississippi River moves to a new location or gets cut off or takes over a new river, the delta will move as well.